Actually, uh, I, I hope the sound is good. Uh, uh, we tested this thing about three or four times, and, and every time we did it, it was a different configuration, so good luck. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we are the Desert Sun String Band, and in case you didn't know it, if it ain't fun, it ain't us. <laughs>
You know, when we said our slogan was if it ain't fun, it ain't us. Well, if that's true, uh, we're having fun. I hope you are. Uh, because we're going to have fun anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm going to introduce the band here. Uh, over here on my far left is Mr. No, I'm going to be the banjo Bill. It's uh, Bill Paul. Bill came into uh, our area about last September when he moved. He came down the, the season before and tested out. But he's from Iowa. No, I'm not from Iowa. I live in Iowa. Well, he's from Iowa. No. Anyway, the, you know, the winter is running down. San Diego. Well, he, he started off in San Diego. That's where he learned and in his youth and he learned all the banjo stuff and everything. Anyway, I want you to know right now that sometimes he might be a little bit of an imp up here on the stage. But uh, that, we'll that's part of it. Over here on the next guy, we got Mr. Bill DeVinny. Uh, <laughs> Bill came to, it came to several of my jam sessions that I have done in, uh, in the retail center, Dove Mountain Retail Center, where I first met him. And uh, I paid attention to his guitar playing. And I was listening to how the crowd received him. And I said, man, Alden, that boy, she got us. He's going to be in my band. <laughs> uh, he owns an insurance company in, uh, in uh, Tucson. Bears his name, Mr. Bill Minnick. <laughs> Back here we got Mr. Reed Griffin. And uh, I've got to tell you a little something about Reed. Be nice. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Reed, Reed's what, uh, Reed showed up at the 11th hour. We had this band put together, but we didn't have a bass player. And our first practice was scheduled was for October 7th. <laughs> and he showed up October 6th. <laughs> and we found out since then that that's his nature. He is an 11th hour kind of guy. <laughs> what time did you get here? Uh, well, I think it was uh, 6.29. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a little fast. <laughs> I thought these guys were early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, now Reed owns uh, uh, Old Pueblo uh, Equity Company here in uh, Tucson, and uh, that's a, a real estate type company. Now over here on my, oh, we have Reed the hand. I almost cut you out there, folks. Okay, over here, the other member of the band, <coughs> One colorful guy. Name is Sam Brown. Call him Billy and Sam. And Sam Brown is, uh, he's interesting. He, he rides a bike seven and a half hours, uh, seven and a half miles every day if the weather permits. And that's a lot of days here in Tucson. <laughs> Sam fiddles with three fingers on his left hand. Had lost the tip end of one and you. And he's a contest winning fiddler with three fingers. <laughs> I gotta tell you about Sam, he's married to this young lady right here. <laughs> this is a story that you think was choreographed in Hollywood because. Phil and Sam Brown is married to Georgia Brown, sweet Georgia. <laughs> Last but not least, he's the guy that pays us weekly. <laughs> Very weekly. <laughs> Charlie's going to baller a couple of tunes for you tonight, but if you've got to make a restroom stop, that's probably the time to go. <laughs> he, I told you, Kemp. <laughs> yeah, he uh, warned you I'd be coming out of my shell. I guess this is my turn. Uh, Charlie loves the ice fish, but uh, he darn near killed himself last time he was up in the Midwest on ice fishing. He said, it took me all day to get a hole in the ice big enough to fit that boat up down. 
<laughs> He's from Heritage Highlands. Let's have a great big party for my great stuff of
banks to clear it. He dealt with it. It's a classical base, Charlie. He says it's a classical, classical base. I said, okay, it's a classical doghouse base. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Mr. Reed Griffin. That's an endearing term for the double base. Double base is oh. a demonstration of doghouse and bluegrass. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pick it up here a little bit. We'll do an old tune called Old Home Plays. <laughs>
I've got a, I've got a little song I'm gonna lay on you. It's called, uh, uh, I think I'll just go away. And this is an old uh, Stanley Brothers song, and uh, it's sung from the standpoint of the of the gentleman that, that's got such a heartache. His heart's broken and then he's bleeding like he does a lot of times in bluegrass songs. Anyway, and that's what you've got. And Bill, you okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, I told Mark, so I said, you know, I want to get a hat. I said, some of the guys in the band are wearing hats. I want to get a hat. She said, well, you look pretty good in that cause hat. I said, well, I like that hat. I said, I'm going to call up Dick and find out where he got it. So I did. And I got the name of the brand and everything. And uh, so I said, you know, Mark, I am really in luck because they make that hat in a black. She said, well, you want a black hat. <laughs> I'm not sure I want a black hat. I, she said, no, you don't want a black hat because it's not your color. <laughs> I said, well, well Mar, i got to get a black hat. The guy's in the band wearing black hats. She said, you don't want a black hat. <laughs> I said, not your color. <laughs> anyway, I decided to lay the law down. And I did. And how do you like my black hat? <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a little uh, a fiddle tune here for you. Okay. <coughs> oh, little flop here, Bill. How about it? Okay. All right. <laughs> Always, you know, country is lying, crying, or dying. It's 
good grass is moonshine and cabin song. And uh, so now we've got a cabin song for you. You ready to read? I'm ready. All right. How about you fill it down on the end of that? Y'all feel awake? I'm with you. Okay. Here we go. Like the summertime. 
I think we're, we're going to play one more. Good. Uh, before we break. Is that time. good for one more? Or <laughs> one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> we want to understand what you want. Actually, we got to do three in one. I got a story to tell. Yeah, probably got about five seconds. Oh, no, we're gonna run over. <laughs> you. Okay, uh, there's a uh, there was this guy on an airplane. They got on the plane together. Another gentleman, a senior citizen, sitting in the seat next to him. Long flight, long, and uh, the one guy was a. New York lawyer, and uh, who, who is sharp as well. And uh, the senior citizen, he got in there as soon as he did, he kicked back and kind of went sleep. And the lawyer finally, he does, he says, Hey, uh, I've got a little game we can play. Senior citizen said, I don't play a game. He goes, Oh, yeah, he says, you, You'll like this game. He says, You know, it's a, it's, you, uh, you ask me a question. <coughs> If I can't answer it, I'll give you five hundred dollars. Now you ask me a question, and and uh, uh, then I have to uh, no. What <laughs> is The lawyer says, "Get out!" The lawyer says, "The lawyer says, I'm, it says, you ask me a question, I'm five hundred. If I can't answer your question, don't it cost you five hundred. Well, that kind of perked him up a little bit. He said, you know, we're on. I'll do it one time anyway. And the lawyer says, okay, you go ahead and ask the first question. He says, well, what is it that goes up a hill on three legs but always comes down on four? He said, now work on that for a while. You better go away to sleep. So that lawyer's parents thought, he thought, he thought, he couldn't go up any Grabbed out his laptop. He went on the internet. He checked everything he could think of. He was asked this, asked that, with all the search engines. Finally, he started to email all of his most knowledgeable friends. <laughs> Couldn't come up with anything. Hour passed. He was frustrated. So finally, he nudged the senior citizen. He says, All right. He said, I can't believe it's going to happen. He says, But you know, here's your five hundred dollars. Says I can't answer your question. Says what is it that goes up the hill? You know, on on three legs, but only comes down on four. Senior says, "Beat the hell out of me." Here's your five dollars. <laughs> City. He said, New York City? And they said, no, we can't bring the rockets to New York City. I said, well, Charlie, I want to have a big production number. I want Love Nancy. Charlie said, no, we can't bring the rockets to New York City. Okay, so we don't have the rockets to New York City, but we're going to do a waltz medley. There's a great big old dance floor right there. We know there's people here that know how to waltz. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to do a waltz number that's going to combine three waltzes. We're going to do the Tennessee waltz, the Kentucky waltz, and the Shenandoah waltz. Anybody here know how to waltz? One, two, three, one, Let's see your hand. One, two, three. Oh, come on. Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, come on. Alright. I was dancing with my darling. I happen to see I do 
wheelchairs if you jump in there and get along with him a little bit, but he's going to do good old stuff to do. Remember I told you before, the grass is cabins and moonshine. Well, we've done the cabin song, now we're going to do the moonshine. <laughs> All right, this reminds me of when I was in the camping club, an old fella. Real good friend of mine, he's from Tennessee, Kelly. Ed Julian was his name. Ed would always leave a jug back behind tire of mine. <laughs> good stuff, too. <laughs> and other than Charlie, that's a true story. <laughs> I did was say a little ode to Grandpa.
bluegrass style. After this, you'll understand. <laughs> Was in the spring, yeah. one sunny day, a little girl left all the way. Now she thought, I don't worry, and I said, no, I don't worry.
Okay, we got, we got, we got another coming up here. That's a good one. Oh, I'm not afraid. No, sir. I'm looking out the statue. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go. We got the Freak Man Blues. Oh, gee.
we are getting around the word man blue now because he raised his hand. I'll accept the bathroom. Okay. Uh, you guys have heard this before. And uh, I'll tell you, it drives. <laughs>
Bill will now make a big fool out of him. <laughs> home sweet home with bad girls. And the key of each. Everybody tune up to me now. Get back over to your stool, Charlie. <laughs> I can sit on as good as anybody. <laughs> All right, board member now, we'll go through it a little bit slow just to give Charlie a chance to catch up with it. Or a slow sound, still your phone. Time to get through it halfway, and Charlie, you should have the gist of it. I'm going to sit out second half. Yeah. You already started setting out the first half. What do you mean the second? All right, so a little home sweet home for you.
you're a deal. <laughs> okay, I tell you what, we're gonna be sailing for a little tavern in the town. That's what I said. Tavern in the town, Sam. Indeed. Good. I'll play the same key this time. Well, I sure appreciate these guys hooking up with me. <laughs> hey, you star on the show. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <coughs> Tavern in the town, indeed. Thank you. 
okay, we're going to close it off this time. Sure. And we're going to do it with the gospel number called I'll Fly Away. That's what I said. He told me I'd fly away. And I can't read. Oh, we can do both. <laughs> no, uh, I saw the light. Bye. Bye. <laughs>